Lucas Media. So Sexy Red is supposed to be going on tour apparently soon, and they're saying that her tour might end up getting canceled. Now, Sexy Red has only sold 37% of the 85,000 tickets out there that she's supposed to be going on tour with. And as I'm looking, it says that their general release was June 28th. Now, I'm surprised by this, honestly. I am and I'm not. I would have thought Sexy Red would have had more people there, but then at the same time, just like I always say, these people who, who chant for you and, and, you know, they'll they'll go to your youtube they might even like it but as far as paying actual money they're not going to pay to more than likely go to those concerts because that is the fan base that she markets to isn't going to do that and i've been looking through different sites and people saying she's trash and they surprised that 30 something thousand people signed up for the concert and all of that and she's ruining this country or ruining our women she ain't doing nothing no different than a lot of these other artists are doing honestly so we can't just put the blame on her but at the same time i'm not surprised that the sales aren't as good as they should be because again the specific fan base that you market to isn't going to necessarily buy tickets see a lot of times we try to market to the hood and you know i remember adrian broner would always say man the hood got me the hood got me well they the first ones gonna bootleg your shit honestly come on now you know even I can go all the way back back to, I remember being in high school when 50 Cent, Get Rich or Die Trying came out. Every, everybody I know was bootlegging them song, bootlegging that CD for $5. You know, but the hood, you know, they, they rock with 50. They support 50. They'll support you, but they're not going to support out their own pockets. And, you know, this is just something that she's going to have to do. Like, even as far as being innovative, like, she's going to have to change her creative process because, yeah, she's the, she was the fun girl. But at some point, you know, the torch gets passed to the next person and the next person and the next person. You know, you've seen it go from Little Kim to Nicki Minaj to Cardi B. And, you know, and I, and, and I know it's people in between, but I just want to paint the picture that stuff like this happens all the time. And like I said, everybody don't, everybody can't sell. Just because you're popular on social media or you tag on somebody else's tour doesn't necessarily mean that you can sell out arenas, honestly. So we'll just have to see. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if she'll be able to fill those, those seats up without getting them canceling it. But yeah, if she's only sold 37%, I won't be surprised if they call it off because these stadiums, these people that's putting her on tour, they're going to want to recoup their money, you know? And they'll probably just... Do what they've been doing. She'll just push her out, like push her out on YouTube. And I, one more thing, I did check. I checked the to see if she had like any platinum songs. I don't see any that's platinum, so that also says a lot as well. You know, usually people who go on tour and have these big tours. These are platinum artists, gold artists. I don't think she has any gold or platinum album, platinum song, platinum albums, nothing. If y'all know in the comment section below, please let me know. But as a quick search. I'm not seeing anything, i.e. if there was a, a young boy, you know, young boy, NBA young boy, he, when, as soon as you go on the website, the R-I-A-A website, you see nothing but platinum album, the platinum album, the platinum album, platinum single, the platinum single, and he don't tour, I mean, because he locked up, but you could just imagine if he were to go on tour. Like I said, Sexy Red, a lot of people look at her as a fun girl, even the older women, they look at her like, oh, you know, when I want to turn up with my homegirls maybe once a month, you know, we can turn on Sexy Red. That's cool. But are these same people take money out their hard-on pockets out they nine to five to pay for it? And we just don't know, you know, but 37% only being sold. That means something, you know, something ain't working. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Y'all let me know. Do y'all think it's going to sell? Do y'all like Sexy Red? If y'all do, tell me why. If y'all don't, tell me why. You know, let's get this conversation started because I'm just curious of why she's not selling. Let me know below.